can help with all estrogen issues. But using the ultimate EFAs is very important for all estrogen female hormone issues. Get on the ultimate EFAs and get on the whole healthy start pack because magnesium is also important for the blood and also important for estrogen, about 1,000 milligrams or 2,000 milligrams of magnesium a day and maybe 9 to 18 capsules of the ultimate essential fatty acids. Using vitamin A and E can also have some benefits. E is a natural blood thinner, and vitamin A can counteract or can balance out estrogen. And so can progesterone cream. That might be something else that they want to, your friend wants to think about when it comes to uh, varicose veins. And last but most certainly not least, relaxing and activating the, the relaxation nervous system through deep breathing, hot tubs, water, massage. Uh, those can all have beneficial effects on thinning the blood and improving varicose veins, improving circulation, and then improving varicose veins. And then last but not least, I know I said that already, but one more thing is getting on, uh, doing some exercise, getting on a treadmill or moving your body around. That can also help pump blood through the bottom of the body and uh, improve circulation and improve varicose veins. Okay? Okay, thanks. Thank you, um, Tara. Yes? Can I ask, when will you be coming to North Carolina to do a talk? Uh, I don't know. you got to invite me. Ah. Am I invited? Are you inviting me? I don't know how to make a stuff make it happen. Yeah, I would love Give it me a for call. Shoot me, shoot me an email or with you put your phone number and I'll call you back. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Tara. Bye bye. Okay, Carol in Washington, what's going on? Welcome to the bright side. Is that me? That would be you. What's cooking? Oh, good. Okay, you you ha you said something about an uh, acne website and I could not catch it. I think you even said it three times. I don't think Where I said do I find that. I'm doing not a, today. I, no, I'm doing videos, uh, YouTube videos on acne. I forgot to mention that today. Uh, my friend Amanda and I, we do YouTube videos once a week. We cover various subjects, usually around the skin, and, and usually it has some kind of connection to longevity, not always. Uh, the, the latest series of videos that we're doing, we started last week and, and we're doing one today, is on acne, the seven different types of acne. The biggest problem that I've discovered in dealing with acne, and I've been dealing with acne from a, from a therapist p uh, position for 30 years, since the early 80s, what I've discovered is that there's no such thing as acne. Acne is just a word. There's various biochemical breakdowns that show up as zits on the skin, and we call them all acne. We label them all acne, and there's some insidious reasons why we do that, basically so we can sell your products, so, so medical professionals can sell your products. They say, oh, zits on the skin, you have acne, you need this cream. Oh, zits on the skin, you have acne, you need this antibiotic. But it doesn't work like that because there's different biochemical breakdowns associated with acne. In fact, there's seven different types of acne, and there's seven different types of biochemical breakdowns that cause, uh, cause acne-like lesions, and you've got to understand which one of those biochemical breakdowns you're dealing with if you're going to correct acne, and that's what we're doing uh, on these videos. And so if you want to be put How on the I email list, them? well, you can Google the pharmacist Ben. Uh, well, you know what? Why don't you send me an email, and then uh, uh, I'll reply back. Uh, I'll send. You, I'll put you on the email list, and you'll get notified of all the videos. And then when you get notified of them, you'll get all the past videos. We must have done about ten or fifteen of them already. Um, and you'll get. Uh, we'll put you on the list, and you'll see all the videos we've done. So okay, shoot me an email. You, shoot me an email. Ben. Ben at ksco. com. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Ksco. Ben Do at ksco. Uh, my main question was uh, uh, vitiligo, 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 vitiligo. vitiligo on, yes, on that's a discoloration, of lightning on yeah. the hands. Yeah, we don't. Yeah. Have that's that's an autoimmune disease. It's no different than arthritis, than rheumatoid arthritis, or multiple sclerosis, or myasthenia gravis, or type one diabetes, or or any of you name it. There's there's eighty or ninety, maybe even a hundred different autoimmune diseases. They're all the same. They show up in different parts of the body, but that doesn't matter. Autoimmune diseases are the body attacking a part of itself. They're a, f a friendly fire of the immune system. The body attacks itself. And it doesn't matter if it's in the hands or the pancreas or the nerves or anywhere else. The fact is the immune system is jacked up 80% or more. But the immune system is located in the digestive tract. That means if you have an immune system, the odds are very, very good. The odds are pretty much 100% that you have a digestive problem, and vitiligo is no different. Vitiligo is an autoimmune disease. Autoimmune diseases need to be considered as first and foremost digestive issues. So if somebody has vitiligo, do the whole food diary thing that we always talk about. Look for problem foods and eliminate them. If you have a problem finding what your problem foods are, Go by your stools, by your by your bowel movements. Go by gas and bloating and heartburn and eliminate foods that cause any digestive distress. That's job number one. Job number two is make sure you're using supplements and nutrients that help support 
that help support digestive health. The probiotics, the bioluminightly essence, and the Beyond Organic products are a must-have for anybody dealing with vitiligo. Same with the ultimate enzymes and same with apple cider vinegar after all your meals. Uh, if you want to throw in a couple other things for digestive support, you can use some extra bile salts, B-I-L-E, bile salts. Uh, you can use um, uh, uh, fermented foods, get a book called The Art of Fermentation. That can help support digestive health. Focus on the digestive system. The next thing you want to do for vitiligo or any autoimmune disease, any autoimmune issue, is start to support the, the, excuse me, the immune system. And we've been talking all week and last week about how you do that using nutritional supplements. The Fucoidin Z is a wonderful immune booster. The new Restart products and Beta Glucan, those are immune boosters. Get yourself on what 50. What was that, Z? Fucoidin Z. F as in Frank, U, C, O, I, D, A, N. Fucoidin Z. Vitamin C is a must-have for all immune issues. The Ultimate Selenium from Longevity is a must-have for all immune issues. And, of course, 50 milligrams of zinc is also a must-have for all immune issues. Here's a little clue for you. There's a relationship between gluten intolerance and vitiligo, which should come as no surprise to anybody who knows anything about gluten. So focus on the digestive system, number one. Focus on food, number two, for vitiligo or any other autoimmune issue. That's my take on autoimmunity. Okay? Got it. I want to take one more call. Okay, Carol? Thanks Thank so you. much. God bless. Okay, Steve in Oregon, welcome to the Bright Side. What's up, buddy? Steven, do we have Steve? Steve? Steve, Steve, going once, going twice. Yeah. Steve, what's up, man? How you doing? Good. Hey, uh, um, got a question about BTT and gluten. Yes, is, what's your question? Is, is it um, gluten-free? Yes. Is, uh, BTT is gluten-free, yes. It is, is that your, huh? Th yes. Is that your question? Uh, that, and um, I crashed my bike last night. I was wondering about um, traumatic healing. Yes, get on the ultimate enzymes. Use, uh, take them on an empty stomach. The ultimate enzymes are wonderful for accelerating the healing of all kinds of bruises, post-surgical bruises, trauma bruises. You get a black eye, you get punched in the eye, whatever. Use the ultimate enzymes. You can also use the glucogel caps. And by the way, the glucogel caps, I should, should have mentioned it to uh, Carol and Patty, uh, they're also good for your digestive system as well. But the glucogel caps can help accelerate healing from wounds. And then... Um, if you have a superficial wound or a skin type of wound, you can use topical vitamin C. In fact, if you send me an email, ben at ksco.com, uh, if you have a wound of some kind, I'll send you out some, uh, some a free sample of my topical uh, omega-6 healing cream that's loaded with vitamin C. Okay, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you, Steve. Appreciate your call. Thank you to all our callers and all my letter writers. I appreciate all the love very much. If you're in the Olean, New York area, please come see me. Uh, me and my friend Jonathan Smith, certified health trainer, next Tuesday, October 21st, Century Manor Grill House, 401 East State Street, Olean, New York, zip code 14760. Jonathan's number 646-258-0148 if you want more information. That's all the time we have for today. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening, folks. Have a wonderful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.